welcome back. Thank you for joining me today for yet another Dollar Tree haul. I am so excited to share with you all these new amazing goodies I found at Dollar Tree. So let's get started. I found a few more of these uh, triangle pieces. These are in the decor section at my store and you know, they stand on their own. They're just really cool pieces. I usually take the back off or paint over this and just make some sort of a project out of it, but these have so many uses and I picked up four of them. I did get different designs though. I really have no intention of keeping any of these designs. I'll basically just be using these uh, for projects, but I picked up one of each color just to show you what's available. And well, this is what my store had. There might be more designs too, but these, you know, you can glue these together to create something. You could use them individually. They're just, they're really nice pieces. And again, they're the MDF wood and they're just, I mean, so multi-use. I know a lot of crafters um, have been looking for these, so don't give up hope if you haven't seen them yet because my store didn't have these for a long time and now they have them again, so yay. All right, friends, check out these DIY sled ornaments. Come on, how cute are these? They are so darling. I cannot wait to use these in some craft projects and maybe just decorate a few. Um, as intended as ornaments. I think they're adorable. These are quite small. They are, again, just kind of like a really thin wood. Uh, they're, they're sturdy enough, and I think they'll be really cute in any project or um, for any DIY or for ornaments. Uh, my store had three different versions of the sled, and I kind of, I like them all it, for different, different reasons, but I think this one's my favorite. And these are a pretty decent size. They're about as big as my hand. Adorable! So I found quite a few of the color your own ornaments at my store. I found the Santa, a snowman, trying to make sure those are in focus and in frame for you guys. Found a couple of different snowflake varieties. Oop, this way. And I found the little truck again, which is my favorite. I found the Mary with the Moose, and I believe they had this one last year. And then the tree, which I also think they had last year. This one was new to my store this year, the gnome. And um, he actually came with a set of markers, a red, green, and yellow marker, and then with a different hanger also. The other ones all have wine hangers that they come with. Let me see. Okay, so there's three pieces in the um, gnome one. But again, this one comes with the markers and a different uh, hanger for them. And then these snowflakes came with five pieces and they have the twine hanger. This snowflake has eight pieces, twine hanger. The little Santa has eight pieces with the twine hanger. The truck has only five pieces, again with the twine hanger. This tree has eight pieces, twine hanger. The Mary with the Moose has five pieces and the twine hanger. And then last but not least, the Snowman has eight pieces with a twine hanger. Now these are just the ones that my store had. I'm sure there's more. I know last year there was another type of tree, um, but I have not seen those this year. It doesn't mean they don't have them, but this is what I found at my store. And I think they're just darling. I love these little wood pieces. They're quite thin. Um, they're quite thin pieces. They're perfect for projects. They're perfect for um, any kind of DIY or as ornaments. Really nice, really nice pieces. I think the snowman is super cute. I actually have a cookie cutter that looks almost identical to this. <laughs> so. This year I also found this cute little uh, Santa DIY wood piece. I don't remember seeing this last year. He has the raised mustache, nose, and the rim of his hat is also raised. And these make really fun projects for anyone, uh, especially kids, if you have kids. But you could decorate this up, use it in a wreath. I mean, there's a lot of different ways you can use these. They're so multi-use as, as are so many of the, of the um, Dollar Tree items. So. He's a real, he's cute. I'll lean back into the mix here, my friends, because I finally found these Happy Halloween signs. Look at how gorgeous these are. I don't personally decorate for Halloween, but these are just so beautiful. I have to find a way to use them, maybe in a wreath or something. Um, I have a niece who loves Halloween, so I might give these to her or help her make a, a wreath using these. But again, it's just a real thin MDF, but um, 
but they're so darling. I love these so much. I love this design. It's There's so much intricacy in here and I love the scroll design. It's just, it's a really elegant piece, <laughs> which I wouldn't usually say for something that's Halloween, but it's got the little bat here and here. It's just a really cute piece. So I also found this so cute wooden shape. It's in the shape of a paw. Um, I mean, you can see that <laughs> pretty clearly, but how cute is this? I have I have something in mind for this for a friend. I think this is just absolutely adorable. And the pads of the paw are raised again, and just a piece of wood, thin wood, um, but a nice little DIY piece. I love it. Can't wait to use this. Oh, a few more Halloween things. <laughs> I found the little haunted house and then the happy Halloween sign. So these are just really well done. And although I don't decorate for Halloween, they're just so cute. I know I'll use them or somebody in my family can use them. So I grabbed a few of these because they're just adorable. And then I found this a six piece Harvest DIY Word package. And I just thought these were really neat to use in a DIY project. I think, let's see, it's a six pack. So I'm guessing each one is different. So this one says, Hello Autumn and Farm Fresh. Well, this could be used anytime. It's not really seasonal, so that's great. Um, Hello Fall, uh, Blessed, another multi, multi uh, use, uh, Give Thanks, and oop, 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 Welcome Fall. And these are, they're quite thin, but well, actually they're not too bad. Um, can paint these, use them in, in projects, but these are adorable. I don't have a, currently have a Cricut or any kind of a cutting machine, so I'm always looking for for words, you know, type things to use in reads and in projects because my print or my handwriting is terrible, y'all. Dollar Tree has the cutest paint sets this year. We have a deer, we have a snowman, we have Santa, and we have an ornament. And they're just super cute. They come with the red, green, and white paint and a little paintbrush. Don't recommend using the paintbrush, but for a small, real young children would be okay. But otherwise, I, I just use, would use a regular paintbrush. These are kind of terrible. <laughs> but And I'm going to leave these in the packages so that when the kids come, they can, um, they can use these. But you could use these in a project, too. They don't have to be for, for the kiddos. Um, this one says, ho, ho, ho. The reindeer says, Merry Christmas. I love the reindeer one. Very cute. And the snowman says, let it snow. So these are great fun. These say five plus years old, so cute. And then I found these cute gems. These are two dimensional, I guess. And there's two versions. This is just the plain truck. And then this one is the truck with the, um, the thing in the back. So cute. Lots of fun projects I can think of to do with these, but I finally found these. So excited. I Again, I hope that your stores have a lot of these things too, my friends. I know our Dollar Tree, uh, our manager said that she's having a hard, they're having a hard time getting trucks in. And so some of this stuff is, might be even coming to me later than you might have already seen all this stuff, but it's all new to me. So I hope you enjoy it nonetheless, even if you've seen it before. All right, y'all. So I do have more Christmas to share, but I wanted to share a few of these fall items items too that I recently found. Um, I found some more berry garland. This one has the um, the orange and the maroon, I guess, color of the berries. And they're just on the twine, piece of twine there. And there is nine feet of this um, berry garland. And this one is kind of a a really muted version of that one. It's got the kind of a, a maroon colored berry, but then the orange ones are almost an orangey brown color. So I found those two at my store. Really pretty, great and useful for, for fall projects. I found more window clings and these are outstanding. <laughs> so this one has all the different fall sayings. And like I was saying earlier, I'm always looking for lettering or words to put on projects or use in projects because my writing is horrendous and I don't have a Cricut or any other cutting machine. Um, so let's just see these here. So the background is white. Aren't these darling? I just think they're really, really well done. So pretty. And this one is the blue truck. Hello fall. Some foliage on there, some fall foliage. And these are so easy to use in projects, which is why I love them. I think this one's my favorite. 
because I love coffee and I love pie. <laughs> so this is right up my alley, this one right here. And then there's this one, which is super cute. Really nice muted fall colors. More on the farmhouse side, I guess, but look at sweater weather, cute. These are darling. I think these are probably a white background also, but we'll see here. No, these are actually a clear background. That's my favorite, so I'm pretty excited about that, y'all. Pretty excited. I did grab a few more of the garlands. These are the 15-foot garland. Um, they're very thin, so I will oftentimes double these up when I use them in projects, but they come in really handy, and you know, you can't beat it for a dollar. Although, fair warning, I read an article that um, Dollar Tree might be increasing their price just a little bit to make up for the inflation and for the, um, the rising shipping costs. So we'll see. Have any of you seen that yet? Uh, I've not seen it in my store. I think they said maybe from a dollar twenty dollar to a dollar twenty five or a dollar fifty, depending. I don't know if it's going to depend on location or what um, what the logistics are. But let me know in the comment section, please, if you've witnessed um, an increase at your Dollar Tree yet. I'd really like to hear from you guys. All right, friends, I found a few new Christmas florals to add to my collection <laughs> this year. I'm sure there will be many more coming out, but these are the ones I found so far. I found these gorgeous poinsettias, and these are in kind of a, um, I don't know, what, what would you call this? Blush? What is this color? Blush pink? I don't even know what this is. <laughs> like a, a, a salmon? Salmon color? I'm not sure. It's probably going to translate differently on film, but um, nonetheless, I love these colors. I think it is so pretty, and I'm looking to kind of venture out a little bit in my projects from the uh, usual red, green, and white. So I picked these up to try. We shall see. Um, I think they're just beautiful. Whatever you want to call this color, salmon, pink, um, I wouldn't call it a rose gold. Maybe it's a rose gold. Nonetheless, they're gorgeous, and I love them. I grabbed, let's see, I grabbed three of those. That's all my store had. And then I found some of the white poinsettias. Now there's actually two different versions of this. So there's the white and then there's kind of an off-white. This one is a little bit off-white. I don't know if you can see that on camera. We'll see how that translates. But I'm telling you, there's just a slight variation in color with these. So I'm trying to group them together. Maybe that will make it easier for y'all to see. But these are the white, almost a, a cool white. And these are more of a warm white or yellow white. I hope you can all, I hope you can see the difference in these. But I picked up four of the, um, the warm white or the yellowish white. And I picked up three of the um, more of the cooler or silver white ones. And I just think they're really beautiful. All my store has had for Christmas um, florals so far this year is the poinsettias. So I'm hoping that we get a lot more soon. So pretty. Let me know, by the way, my friends, if you would like to see my craft storage. I recently organized all of my craft supplies because I couldn't find anything. I had such a horrific mess in my craft space and I recently organized that and put found kind of a storage solution for everything. And if you're interested in seeing that, let me know, comment down below. And you know, if I get enough people asking, I will certainly, um, I'll certainly post that for y'all. I found these two different sizes of hanging chalkboard decor. They've got the twine hanger on them and just a piece of wood, like a wood slat at the top and then your chalkboard. I mean, these are just darling. There's a rectangular shaped one and then we've also got this square shaped one and um, both are done the same way, but like I said, one is square and one is rectangular. These are, let's see, the rectangular one is about eight and a half by five and a half, and the square is about uh, seven by seven-ish. But th these are awesome. They're so cool, great find. And then I found all of these different um, slat boards, or I don't know what to call these. They're wood hanging decor. That's what Dollar Tree calls them. <laughs> They're like a slat, uh, wood slat piece, and they have, again, the uh, twine hangers on these and there is the rectangular shape, the square, and then the, I don't know, like a fence post. <laughs> these are like a decorative fence. I mean, they're so cute, y'all. I mean, these are just adorable. 
good sized pieces. I mean, there's so just truly endless um, possibilities for these. I think I might uh, put some calendar pages on these and just dress them up a little bit and uh, use them as decor. They're just, I mean, truly, truly neat finds again. All right, y'all, the elves are back. <laughs> Elf on a shelf or whatever they call these little plushies anyway. Dollar Tree calls them plushies. They're just little um, plushies <laughs> kind of filled with a, a soft fabric as the body and um, I think I might use make a little ladder or something hanging off of a ladder. I don't know. I just think they're really cute. I got the boy and the girl so I think they're adorable and we'll definitely use those in a project but picked up these two for the holidays. I found more trees, my friends. These are really, really well made. They're, I mean, honestly, you could find these at Hobby Lobby or Michael's. Seriously, they're literally like the same thing. Very well made. They've got the little wood piece on the bottom, the wood round. And these, this one has like a, um, a garland, a beaded garland around it. And it's just kind of a holographic white. I don't know if you'll be able to pick that up on camera, but... Hopefully you'll be able to see that. And then there's the same version in green. And this one has the green with a um, it's kind of a blocked look to it. And then these cuties have the uh, Christmas balls on them or bulbs, whatever you call them in different colors. And again, there's the green and the white. And I like that with the white one, they went with kind of the, well, in my opinion, the non-traditional little bulbs, but how stinking cute are these? And then I found these packaged um, Christmas trees as well. So we have the silver and the gold. And they're the same style as the larger ones. They're just smaller. But really, how cute, how cute. I mean, honestly. And I almost forgot to tell y'all that um, these smaller trees have six, uh, six pieces in each bag. I only saw the gold and the silver at my store, but perhaps there's more. Let me know if you find any different colors at your store. I found two of these metal gift tags. These are two different shapes. Uh, there's three pieces in each of these and a little twine hanger. And this one has kind of a rounded, the rounded top. This one has, I guess, a more traditional shaped top but I love them both so I picked up one of each and again there's three pieces in each so that's six six tags I have for Christmas gifts this year or projects all right guys Dollar Tree has really amazing fillers this year for the holiday season um this vase filler is the red littered vase filler I'm not gonna open these because they are messy but there's quite a bit in here I only got one of each color I got the red the gold and the silver and they're very glittery and presumably extremely messy. So like I said, I'm not gonna open them until I'm using them in a project, but it says um, 0.88 ounces in each or um, 25 grams, I think that says. So, you know, it's a, it's a decent amount. I probably should have gotten more, but I'll make do with what I have. So, but I think those are, that's pretty cool uh, to find these. I also found two different sizes of the faux snow at Dollar Tree, which I, I was really surprised. Oh, I think I have a hole in this one, so I'm gonna have to be very careful with this one. They're like just tiny little um, styrofoam balls to use as a, a filler for snow or a snow filler. Um, these are 473 ml. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there's quite a few in here, but you can see the size difference. There's the super duper tiny and then the tiny <laughs> so but these will come in very handy i plan on making a few snow globes this year and then i also found some uh, glittered faux snow 1.48 ounces in here look how pretty that is it's always hard to know how um, colors and things are gonna pick up on camera so hopefully you'll be able to see how gorgeous this is it's really really pretty I like anything that's shiny or glittery, go figure. All right, so the DIY lighted decor at Dollar Tree this year is stunning. We have a truck, we have a snowflake, we have a reindeer, oops, this way, <laughs> and we have a gingerbread house. So come on y'all, these are adorable. <laughs> I grabbed one of each, so I will show you what they look like. My light's too bright. I'm gonna turn off a light here, see if that helps. 
Not so much. I'll get a different picture for you guys or some different video. How cute are these, you guys? Aw, I love these. I love the warm white glow they give off too. It's really a soft, warm light shining through. These are adorable. I love these so much. If you watch my fall home decor video, you'll see a few more of these type of uh, decor pieces also. But how pretty are those? And we have more gnome Christmas decor, guys. We, these are the um, Dollar Tree's ornament design, which I always love because I love the metal piece on here, and there's always just a really nice detail on these. They're just an MDF piece of wood, and I believe these are about a 10 inches in diameter piece. So, And I found two versions at my store. This one says gnome for the holidays. He's so cute. And this one says, Merry Christmas from our gnome to yours. <laughs> cute play on words on these two. I found some really, really cute LED lights for the holidays from Dollar Tree this year. We have this one, which is a mesh rope type light. And I had hauled some of these last year. And then this one is the snowflakes, which I also think they had last year. And then this one, which is new to me, is the um, LED wire lights in kind of looks like a cool white or a blue. I don't remember my store having these last year. If they did, I wasn't able to get my hands on them. And these also, I know my store did not have last year. And each of these requires two AA batteries. Um, they're 3.66 feet in total length with three feet of lit length. And this one is the multicolored, which I'm really excited about. And then I also found this one, which is basically a candy cane, <laughs> a candy cane um, exterior on these lights. The LED lights are white, so we'll see how this illuminates when I um, get the batteries in there. I'll show y'all how they, how everything looks when they're lit up. I think they're so pretty, and I'm excited to have found all of these. So I just found these um, decorative glass knobs at my store also. I mean, they're really, they're weighty, <laughs> they're heavy, you guys, for like cabinets or projects, or you could use put these on your kitchen cabinets or a dresser. These are so pretty. This one's kind of a blue color, little tinge of blue to it. This one is shaped like, kind of like a diamond, a diamond flower, I'm gonna call it. And that one is clear. This one's also clear and it's just round, a round shape. And then we have a pink, pink version. I don't know what shape this is, but it reminds me of a doll or something. <laughs> like a, a doll. I don't know why, but um, so those are the three versions that my store had. But what a cool find these are. I don't know when Dollar Tree started carrying these, but they're new to, to me in my store. And they're heavy and they're really, really substantial pieces. I was so excited to find these iron-on transfers from Dollar Tree with the coffee. It says, but first coffee. I've been looking for these and I finally found one. The directions are on the back. This was in the crafting section also. Cool find. And that concludes this Dollar Tree haul, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. Thank you so much for watching. I'm always grateful for you carving a little time out of your busy day to spend this time with me. I hope you'll give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I'd love it if you would subscribe to my channel and be part of the Brands Beauty Boutique family here on YouTube. And be sure to click on that bell if you'd like notifications every time I upload a new video. I have a lot more to share with y'all coming soon. Thanks again for watching. Have a beautiful day. So pretty. I really love the snowflakes. I love them. Ooh. It's like candy cane lights. I love these so much. These are 3.66 feet in length. These are pretty. Oh, these are going to be awesome for projects. I can't wait. Mm. 
these are 3.3 feet in length. Love, 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 love. Sing to me a simple